Hey guys, this is Locomation Studio here with another Hero Factory 2.0 review. If you haven't watched my last review of Ferno 2.0, or if you have, I'm going to say it again. I am doing like what I did last summer where I'm reviewing three heroes, just a handful of Hero Factory sets, two villains, and then the main villain. So I'm only getting a couple. Uh, they don't even have any vehicles this year, so I won't be looking into those. But I am reviewing it because I've got to say that these guys are so much better. I want to give Hero Factory a, you know, a thumbs up. Uh, because while the last Hero Factory 1.0, we'll call it, Hero Factory 1.0, was pretty not that good. Um, and I can't use Bionicle being gone as a con to these sets anymore because that's a thing of the past. I still love Bionicle and think about it every day, but Hero Factory in and of itself is becoming great and they're really trying hard. You know, Lego's really taking a, taking a turn and what we thought was the road down the toilet is really going back up. While the story, you know, story and names, ugh, it's still pretty bad, but set-wise. Okay, now we will continue the Hero Factory 2.0 reviews with Surge. I didn't get Surge last year, but I will be getting him this year, and here he is, Surge 2.0. We have the, in the background there's some jets, some really cool explosions and stuff, and no more, you know, tribute to Bionicle thing. Instead, they just have a HeroFactory.com advertisement with the idea that you can get a code on the bottom of this lid. All the Hero Factory sets this year are the same canister as what we had last year and the same design as the Stars canisters, but all the lids are the same color. I don't know why that is, you know? Here we have, you know, Ferno. They are all the same this year. They're all Hero Factory 2.0 lids are the same. I don't get why. It's probably... I'm, what do I, I'm not... I don't, don't get why. I know why. Because LEGO is going to be lazy and cheap still. While they think creatively, they don't do creatively. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, scratch that. 6 to 16 year olds, 30 pieces. Same as uh, Ferno, but again, these are double the pieces than what we got last year, or at least, you know, a third more than what we had last year. They're they're getting a lot more pieces because of the bendable limbs. Shoot your photo. All right, on the back, combination model. Yes, because they have bendable limbs and they have more pieces, we actually have enough room to make combination models. They have this big fire explosion underneath them. That's kind of cool. You can combine them... Um, with Surge 2.0 and Next 2.0, and they make this combination model. Uh, $7.99, which means you're getting the same price as you did last summer, except you're getting more pieces, so better than money. If you haven't bought any of the sets from last year, or you only bought a couple and you want to buy some more, don't buy any more of them. Buy 2.0, it's way better. Uh, size, uh, size, you know, this is the actual size of the Hero Core, like we really care, you know. We care more about the size of the helmets and the masks, not that. HeroFactory2.0.com Hey, didn't notice that. You see Makahiro City in the background and then a big explosion right here. Okay. Let's open him up and look inside. Open up the lid. There's the code you can enter online. How about the contents? What do we got for our money, boys? Or girls, you know. I mean, there's girls that like this stuff, too. Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to do the manual deal with it. Uh, just really quick. This shows you how to enter the code online. Not really, though. It's just kind of the pictures. Uh, how you can do um, Surge and Nex, and it creates a combination model. And a Hero Recon Team, which must be a kind of a LEGO Universe idea for Hero Factory and Bionicle, where you can use those pieces to make your own team. Uh, sounds kind of cool. I won't be playing it, but it'll probably come out soon, and kids will love it. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know yet. And that's what this code is for, I'm pretty sure, is to use for Hero Recon Team. And then the same guy. Yo, I won, I won Lego. I actually did this once and I won it. Um, back if you guys saw the Republic Gunship the Clone Wars set for Star Wars, uh, I actually did this and I did win. So it shows you that it does work if you take a survey and stuff. Okay, pieces. Um, we'll start with the feet. Uh, quick comparison, we're not going to bring any out here. But the last ones were not as cheap. These are cheap plastic, very... You know, shinier but cheaper, I think. And they don't have the boosters on the bottom. They're just more of a clown feet. And they're only one piece. Unlike the old shoes, which we had. I just call them shoes, but they do look more like shoes. But the old feet, which um, were two pieces, this is just one piece. Um, the awesome new limbs. These are great for mocking because they have double ball joints. This doesn't, but it's elongated, so that's cool. Uh, double ball joint. Uh... Where is it? Double ball joint. So really great for mocking, but is really only good for uh, the Hero Factory 2.0 sets because they have these new kind of ways to attach the armor. 
uh, which you'll see soon. This set has absolutely no axle pieces, so do all the Hero Factory 2.0 sets of the heroes. Alright, the new torso is a pro or a con, you can decide. I think it's mainly pro, although it's skinny and it does leave the back wide open to, you know, things. It at least shows that Lego's trying to do something different, and really this is the only way it'll work with these pieces, you know, they clip on the new uh, armor. So, uh, yeah, just a lot more places to just do stuff in general with this. You can, I can't wait to see what Shadow Gear and other Moccas do with this. It'll be really interesting to see what you guys do, but I've got to say it's mainly pro, but you can say it's con because it's all skinny and stuff. Uh, armor. So, the new chest... Uh, plates are really awesome because you have two pieces now instead of just one. You have an Under Armour kind of wife beater, then with the regular t-shirt. <laughs> That's funny, but I mean, if you know what a wife beater is. But yeah, this is basically what we have, the undershirt and the regular one. So, you know, two pieces to the armor. It looks kind of like the Knight's Kingdom, if you know, if you guys remember that. But yeah. Uh, the head, okay, we'll just do the head because I picked it up. I think it looks more like a Machinui head, and no axle pieces on this, because it has to work with these new three-piece heads, where you have the kind of visor or scope-looking thing, and then the, just the top part, which is, I think, all the same for all the all the guys this year. So the top part is the same, but it's the visor that makes them who they are. Wow, okay. All right. Um, but yeah, the new visor is kind of like, it's just one scope instead of two, which we had with Ferno, where there were two scopes. This is just one. The new armor pieces. Um, the new armor pieces are right here, I'm showing you. Uh, they look kind of like a Knight's Kingdom armor, really. Especially this one right here, and this right here looks like a Knight's Kingdom. Uh, but really cool, because they work perfectly with these limb pieces, because that's how they snap on, as you'll see when we get to building process. And the new hands, oh yeah, well let's finish this, um, the armors, uh, no more stickers, yay, they actually have Surge 2.0 written on here with a bunch of little numbers under it that are really hard to read, no, I'm not going to waste time reading them, um, really cool blue and white, and it's cool because you get to label your heroes now so they have a name instead of just no, it being like, who are they, you actually kind of know now, so that's, that's cool, all the heroes have that on their legs. Uh, new hands. Unlike the last guy, we have two hands now because that's awesome. Uh, in comparing the hands, last year and the years before with the Glatorian hands, we had four arm, four fingers, the thumb, middle finger, and both index fingers. Now we have all five fingers, but this looks a lot cheaper. It's cheaper plastic. As you can see, this one had a lot more detail in like the nuts and bolts of the hand had more detail. These are just kind of layered on. And they are hollow, so they go right through to save plastic like these were solid. So you can decide whether you like the old hands or the new hands. The new hands are definitely more realistic, but the old hands were put into more detail, and these are hollow. So, so the, those are the differences. And these will probably break sooner, too, you know. They still don't open. We're waiting for that day to come, but until then, whatever. Weapons. We have the same weapon that we had with Ferno, that hook but it's just one of them. Then we have this other one, which is kind of this gun-looking thing. I don't know what you call it, but I guess you could call it a gun, kind of like a little rifle or pistol, where that'll go in. Uh, it's a gun metal, not really a chrome, so that's cool. Uh, these new kind of spikes. Uh, Ferno had none of these, but as you'll see with these heroes, especially Evo, you have a lot of these little, like, fins, if you want to call them. Not really spikes. Uh, blue little lightsaber. And then, of course, the hero core, which is uh, orange instead of yellow, what we had with Ferno. Or kind of a yellow, you can say. This is orange, and they are cut in half. They are not compatible with the old ones. Watch my Ferno review to see me actually try to put them on, because these actually go on the other 1.0 hero factories, but they don't really stick. While the they're not clear. I like the clear hero cores better. But, yeah, okay. Here we go, this was a very in-depth look at the pieces because they're pretty much all of them are new except for maybe one or two. We actually have one axle piece in this I forgot to mention. Yeah. And building in three, two, one. <laughs>
And here we have Surge 2.0 in his awesome stance. Building experience. Well, just like William Frodo 2.0, uh, the new idea of these ball joints and the cool armor pieces really gave way to a new kind of building experience that I thought was fun. Of course, it's getting old really fast because it's not axle pieces. It's all about the ball joints. I still think it was fun, and I still think you'll enjoy it more than what we had with these guys. But okay, so, but when building it, I've got to say it was different, and it was a good building experience. Still easy, but definitely, I guess you could say harder than the other heroes because you got bendable legs now. That's right. All right. Yeah. Um, so, playing experience. Playing experience, because we'll have just as much fun as with this as they have with Ferno, because th this is more fun than Hero 1.0, this is Hero 2.0, and you have bendable limbs, so kids can, when they play with them, they can bend them up and down, so you guys can do that. And, instead of being stiff, you have, um, the arms also, this is kind of like a new Peru, kind of a wink at new Peru, because he kind of introduced the holding the guns like this, where... He has this awesome gun. Surge has this awesome gun. Um, there's the hook piece, but they both go together with this rifle so he can hold it sideways. Uh, the wide piece is kind of out there all of a sudden, you know. Unlike what we had with uh, Fruno, it was silver, so it just kind of blended in more. This is kind of like white is out there, but I guess white and blue, it is a cool color scheme. I'd like to see white and black one day, but I don't think that will happen for a while. But yeah, um... So this is pretty much him for playing experience. This could get in the way. I can see this falling really easily. You know, just falling out of the side. But besides that, playing experience is really good. Okay, so now we would do um, a comparison time. Or well, no, first we'll just look at... Uh, a yeah, we'll do a comparison with... Uh, Preston Stormer. Yeah, we don't have the old search because we didn't collect them all. I didn't get the new Stormer, I got Evo, um, just to get some diversity in my sets, but I still got Ferno as the same. So, uh, Surge is 2.0 is definitely way taller, by like a head at least, by like half an inch, um, comparing to Preston Stormer. But yeah, they're pretty much all taller, and I've got to say, um, I think, you know, it was cool with this awesome weapon that Stormer had. But remember, there was a secret. It was a hollow arm, and it was just this one piece. We didn't even have an arm. None of the Hero Factory 2.0 sets are like that. They all, most of them have two hands and full arms, at least. All of them have full arms. So, sorry, Stormer, but these guys kind of stinked. But, there's a hidden thing. Turn it around. It's hollow. Wait a minute. Wait, what? It's not completely exposed, because guess what they did for Surge? Unlike what we had in the comparison with Ferdo, Ferdo's armor was all on the front, pointed at the front, so his arms were all completely open. But this, the side plates were put on sideways, so you actually had some armor blocking this, but still the back and the thighs are completely exposed, and I've got to say, I would have liked to see some, you know, armor there, but they weren't going to do that. And I think Surge overall, I like Surge better than Ferdo 2.0 because, uh, first off, Ferdo 2.0, even though I love red, I've got to say I just love the color of uh, Ferdo better. His arm was completely, you know, exposed and skinny. All the arms on, while well, all the arms on uh, Surge are filled up and, you know, look good. But okay, I forgot to mention that the armor pieces, because of the ball joints, they do move a little bit. They are a little flimsy. But overall, I think LEGO is very innovative and new with what they're doing. And it's great to see them being creative. And just like what I said with uh, with Ferdo, these guys are just a lot better than Hero 1.0. So if you want to get some old Hero Factory, don't. Get the new 2.0s because they are way better. They bend in the knees. And I just like them more overall. They are just way better. I'm glad to see that LEGO is doing some new things. But to hear me talk more in depth about that, watch my Fruita review. Um, until next time, where I will be reviewing Evo, and then on to the villains. Hope you've enjoyed this review of Surge 2.0. And uh, this is Lego Mesh Studio.
Slide it up. 